Hi, Juan. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Very good. How was work today? How was work today? It was calm, you said yesterday. Calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Excellent. What, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I am teaching. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, I mean I, I can I can see like Kumo. Oh yeah, so this is for I have some throat problems, so I have a diffuser. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because my I talk so much every day that my vocal cords have been really um affected by it. Um so I'm trying to prevent or not prevent. I'm trying to ease the the discomfort of my vocal cords. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let me pull up our um slides. We were on job interviews and we were on slide. Let's see. Slide four, I think. Let's see. Ah, yes. We we looked over these. Do you want to try to make a sentence with each of these or skip that part? Skip the, this part. Okay, we can skip it. Okay, let's look at our next one. So we have first impressions. Is this too small for you to read one or would you like me to read it? A little bit, sorry. I'm That's not, okay. Nothing great. It's okay. It's okay. I said, is this too small for you to read or do you would you like me to read it? I can see. Oh, you can see it. Okay, let's read this first part. Mm -hmm. Okay, first, first impressions when interviewing for a position, whether face to face or online, mm -hmm. always try to make a good impression. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's look at that first question. Mm -hmm. How do you ensure you make a good first impression in an interview? Mm -hmm. Okay, my answer? Uh-huh. Mm, you need to be unsure uh, what are you talking about? You need to be, yeah, sure or knowledgeable about what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Always the position of your body. How do you say that? El corte in Spanish, but I don't know what it's word in English. Maybe your posture, or just like you said, the, the position posture. of your body. Mm -hmm. the, the posture of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to know some information, some information from the company who are you applying? Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And obviously the knowledge about they are asking you. Mm -hmm. So just to be well informed, right? About what they might ask or maybe you need to research the company a little before you go into the to the interview exactly what about um the way you dress do you think that's important for a job interview you said the way you dress the way you are dressed uh -huh. the way you are dressed ah, do you okay. think that's important yeah. it's important it's very important Exactly, right? You are dressed, so that's a very important key. Mm -hmm. Very good. Here on this side, they have some, they have some um, suggestions as well, right? Okay. Greet your interviewers with Miss or Mister. Um, look people in the eye, right? Smile. Have a firm handshake. So these are suggestions too. These could be good. Um, things to do as well with the interview. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, let's look at the second one. 
do you usually judge 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 someone from their first impression why or not uh the first impression is very important mm -hmm. but you can't to know so to know to someone to know someone with the um, first impression Just you me. yeah that you could get to know someone in the first impression it's just your first um it's your first opinion of the person right so okay. I feel like um, when a job interview situation, right, you want to look your best, be your best, um, even if you have, like, difficulties in your personal life, you kind of have to present yourself like everything's okay and everything's good. I feel like in a casual setting, though, I, I try not to judge someone right away because... We don't know maybe things that are going on in their personal life or um, things like that. So I think it just depends. In, in my opinion, it depends on um, the situation. But job interviews, obviously, we want to make a very good good impression to the boss or our coworkers or something like that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always use uh, T-shirts. Sports, uh -huh. or how I say, it? sport <laughs> like jer we call them jerseys. Jersey, mm -hmm. sport jersey. Yeah, in my meetings, we with my camera in on. Mm -hmm. Entendida. Mm -hmm. I used to use um, shirts with buttons. What is the word? Shirt, what? Yeah, button-up shirts, uh -huh, or shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a uh, sweet, no. Where's the word for taco? Suit? Uh -huh. Like a yeah, suit, uh -huh. something a little bit more professional, right? But when, because you've worked with the company for some time, you don't really have to do that anymore, right? Yeah, it, for example, in, in this case, I work from home, so it's, it's not very important <laughs> mm -hmm. what I am wearing. Yeah, exactly. The dress, we call it a dress code. Dress code the, doesn't really uh, apply. Mm -hmm. Does not really apply. Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. usually there's like a dress code... Um, For schools, universities, job places, things like that, right? You should be, well, it depends on the place, but there's usually like rules or what you should wear. Just like with Cambly, like um, I, I'm not technically, I'm not allowed to show my shoulders, right? Um, I, I need to look professional, right? I can't show up in pajamas or... Um, Something like that, right? So it, every business or school has, a, we call it a dress code. Is this a shoulder? Shoulders are here. Mm -hmm. Los hombros. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so you're not supposed to, like I had a picture, like I had a picture, professional picture taken of me, but it, my my sleeves were right here. So you could still kind of see part of my shoulder and my arms and Cambly told me I couldn't use that because it's inappropriate. It's showing too much skin. Oh. And so I needed to go back. I could, I didn't have time to go and take another professional photo. So all I did was I colored the same, like my shirt as if it was longer. Right. So there's rules and I'm not sure with your work how strict they are with your dress code, but Cambly is pretty. Um, Cambly's pretty strict with 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 okay. the wow. way a tutor is dressed. Mm -hmm. Just because of religions and things like that, too, it can can offend people. So it's best to cover shoulders and and things like that. Mm -hmm. You were talking about a photo. Photo photo is like is. 
Faz com... Is it a photo. Photo. A photo. Mm -hmm. photo. <laughs> uh -huh. It's the same. picture is digital. Digital. Oh, it's the same. Picture or photo, they're synonyms, right? Um, there's a picture of me or there's a photo of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. One tutor, she told me, you need to use, you need to use photo just for bicycle pictures. For what? Mm -hmm. Sí, que... Okay, one second. La imagen es uh -huh. foto. Uh -huh. Pero lo digital es picture. Yeah, I guess that could be technical, but people don't really like, if you're like, oh, I have a photo of me and it's a digital photo, someone's not going to be like, that's not a picture, that's a photo. <laughs> that's not going to be um, a big dispute with that. Yeah, so you could say either one. Mm -hmm. They're interchangeably. Mm -hmm. You can say either one. These kind of phrases I I want to, to learn. <laughs> uh -huh. And that comes with just speaking and practicing, right? You can't, you can it's not, um, just with Spanish too, like I've never had lessons on phrases. Como, and I've, yeah. uh -huh. you, can say, you can say either one. Es como puedes decir cualquiera de los dos, ¿no? And también me gustó la frase de as much as you want. As much as Tan, you want. Uh -huh. Tanto como quieras. Yep. Mm -hmm. O exactly. as, as much as you can. Yep, tanto exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Those type of phrases too, like, they come more naturally when you start speaking more, practicing more. I feel like you could do a lesson, but there's not like a specific lesson for these types of phrases. It's just kind of um, a dialect or how people speak mm -hmm. with practice, experience. Mm -hmm. My yeah. subscription is mm -hmm. going to finish on December. Mm -hmm. In December. Mm -hmm. In December. On is cuando días, right? Um, on, on Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. on it depends. Friday. Uh, it could, it depends. It's a preposition. Um, I know in Britain, in the UK, they use on differently than us. So you might hear a British person say on, on the weekend or, or something like that. Like, um, but in the United States, we have a different dialect. So it's not um, necessarily incorrect. It's just the where you are. You can use it differently. British English and American English are very, they're very different um, in a sense of sometimes we use prepositions differently. Uh, we use different vocabulary for certain situations. Um, so that's where it gets kind of tricky because some prepositions in Britain you use differently than you do in the United States. So it just depends on where you are and how they use that, those words. Mm -hmm. Can you imitate the British accent? Yeah, um, for right now? Yeah. I, know. <laughs> um, I mean, like how, just like speaking or? Just like, I, just like speaking. Um, Instead of saying water, they say water. They have longer vowels, so you are in um, and you need you need uh -huh. some more water. Uh huh. Um, no, you you need a bottle of water. Or uh -huh. say? Bottle water. Yeah, oh, it depends. <laughs> uh huh. And and it there's degrees on. Um, like London British, they have a softer, like, kind of accent, but in that countryside or the outskirts, I've heard that it's a very, um, just the vowels are very long, right? They, they kind of, like, drag all the vowels out. So, Walter or, um, um, I can't think of another word that they say, but yeah, they, they have a lot of different rubbish, right? Um, they use different different words and pronunciation. Do you like that accent? 
Yeah, I think it's pretty. I think all accents are language is so interesting to me. I think I it's a love very that accent. uh huh. It's beautiful. I think it's really pretty. Um, I mean that's just the same with you. I if I was like one, do an Argentinian accent, speak like an Argentinian, or speak speak like a Spaniard, right? You would do the right, gracias, Barcelona, Valencia, right? You would put that. <laughs> on it right <laughs> it's a little so it's... weird when you speak spanish huh it's a little weird 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 Pardon? oh no weird. why is it weird <laughs> do i sound bad <laughs> no no you sound so <laughs> it's just different yeah so yeah. it's it's similar with english right like um mexican accents bolivian accents yeah. colombian everyone has yeah. their own Yeah, even the people sound different when they speak a, a different language or diferente a su nativo, su lenguaje nativo. Yeah, different. Por, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. supongo que yo sueno bastante diferente cuando hablo español que mm -hmm. cuando estoy hablando inglés. Igual. But you sound, but you sound, you have your same pitch, tone. Okay. It's, I feel like it doesn't change too much. Do I go okay. lower or higher when I speak Spanish? Uh, Do I just, change my my uh -huh. my pitch or something? Just a little. I may, and uh -huh. that that's why maybe because you you have another accent is not like a Mexican. Yeah, maybe. or it's just gringa, right? It's just me trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> I think that probably is it. <laughs> I don't think it's me. <laughs> speaking uh-huh uh mm -hmm. yeah i think it's uh it's just me being a gringa trying to speak spanish i think <laughs> that no, sounds but silly you are doing a good job <laughs> oh that's very sweet of you that's very nice and you are too i feel like it's just one of those things where you need to practice and i feel like you usually sound like the person you're around the most or the person that's teaching you, right? Um, I think it, I'm sure if you were to just be taught by British uh, professors or like people from the UK, you would probably speak with... Uh, with that accent? Yeah, with the long vowels. I actually have a Korean student. I only have him a little bit sometimes, not consistently. And he's little, but he's living in London right now. And mm -hmm. he has a British accent, a very, and it's very, um, you can really hear it. It's not, um, but it's because he's learning English in Britain. So he's going to have that, uh, the way they say, say things and things like that. I'm sure I say things probably that are more Bolivian than any other type of Spanish speaking type of countries. So, but I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not from anywhere else, but I'm just assuming that's probably how it usually is. Mm -hmm. But do you have problems understanding him? No, her? The, the Korean student? Uh -huh. No, no, I don't mm -hmm. have problems with British or Australian accents. I, I think um, more Irish and Scottish um, when it's someone who is living in the countryside, I can, I've heard them speak before and sometimes I don't know what they're saying, not because they're not speaking English, but because of the accent. Mm -hmm. well, what, what is the most difficult accent from the U.S.? Talking from the about U.S. From the U.S., yeah. Oh, I don't think any of those are difficult. They're just different. Um, yeah, I, I Midwestern um, mm -hmm. accents are pretty um, particular, but also the Northeastern, Northern. My 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 whole older family, my mom and her parents had a very um, New England accent. Which is like um, soda pop, or mother pack the car in the street, and they have like a very distinct mm -hmm. accent. 
but it's not difficult to understand. I wouldn't say that I can't understand any accent in in a certain area. I'm sure if you were to go <laughs> to Louisiana mm -hmm. or Alabama, the southern accent, the country accent, um, that can be pretty pretty difficult because they cut off parts of words. They kind of um, pronounce things differently. Uh huh. But you're close to Texas, so I'm sure there's people who are um, have like a, a southern, we call it a southern accent, country accent, accent. I don't know if you've ever experienced a tutor that um, had a particular accent in the United States, but they're all very different. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it just depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, when you you are, are going to be available, uh, when you will be available, no, when you will be available, then the next week. Next week, I, I, I'm not then, teaching. Then, so I sent, uh-huh. After the next week, sorry. In two, in two weeks. I'm going to see, I need to, to do some tests and doctor's appointment and I will send out hopefully Monday or Tuesday a message to my students um, seeing if I need because I might need to do follow-ups the next week so I'm not quite sure just yet and I don't want to put a schedule out until I know um, if I need to do any follow-ups or other tests or something like that. So I'm going to wait just a little bit longer, but I will we'll definitely send you a message once I know exactly what times I can do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to search a new tutor for the next week. Do you have any old tutors that you can... Um, have class with? Yeah, please. Uh, could you teach me how need to use the with word in a question when okay. you you put the the with at the end of the question? Um, can you give me an example of what you're talking yeah, about? You uh, you said a question like like that. Mm -hmm. With you, you, you use no, did uh -huh. you? You uh -huh. did. <laughs> Usas the with al final de una pregunta. It's con, yeah, with, uh huh. So I said, do you have another teacher that you can have class with? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. ¿Cómo puedo usar es, esa otro ejemplo? Do you have another example? Um, it's not very common to use that, but, um, it's just when you use with, that's like a person that you can either connect, um, and do class, um, together or, uh, yeah, that's, it's just, a. it's, um, I'm not quite sure. Let me look. I, I don't know exactly. Let's see. Questions okay. with, with, uh-huh. Yeah, I have the doors, but sometimes they are not available at the same time, like me. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. So I need to search someone available. Maybe I will change my time for next week to 6 or 6 30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Because. <laughs> I can Tomorrow. post in the, in the, I have a Cambly tutor group if you'd like for me to post and see if there's someone. They, the thing is with that, sometimes people respond and some people don't. Um, but are you looking for anyone in particular, like someone that can speak Spanish or um, do you have anything like that you're looking for in a tutor or? No, maybe I will, I will schedule uh -huh. uh, some classes with uh, a common tutor for me, for me. Uh huh. Or tutors that you know. Mm -hmm. Tutors, as as I know. Tutors that you that know. I know. Mm -hmm. Tutors that I know. 
Yeah. Yeah. I can I can post in Cambly Corner too if you'd like me to. Um I've done it once before, but I've only had like two responses to it. So it's um sometimes there's people that respond and sometimes people don't respond to it. So it, it depends, right? But if you have someone that you're already comfortable with and and talk to, maybe that would be better. But I can also I can reach out and see if there's another tutor if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So I'll do that tonight. And then here are some, <coughs> here are some example, <coughs> excuse me, sentences Okay. with with. Who are you going with? Who are they with? Who did you play tennis with? Who did you sit with? What did you do it with? Or who did you do? That should be who did you do it with? Who are you angry? It's usually about a person. When you use with, it's going to specify the person or the people that you are together at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's usually spec specifying the person when you use with. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Let's look at this one. We have job interviews. Can you read this one? Yeah, the the average job opening attracts about uh two hundred fifty resumes. Resumes. However, can you repeat? Resumes. 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 Wow, <laughs> resumes. Mm -hmm. I think it's a French word. Uh huh. Resumes. Mm -hmm. However, only about 2% of applic applicants Applicants. Mm -hmm. applicants will be called for an interview for the average job opening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many job interviews have you been to? I don't remember. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Very good. Okay, let's look at that second one. Have you ever had a job interview in English? How did it go? Yeah, I have. And it it was more or less <laughs> my my It, level. Yeah. it went um it went okay more or less or it went well more or less right remember you use more or less to kind of um emphasize that adjective Okay. so either good bad okay right so that kind of emphasizes like eh, more or less it was okay or it was okay more or less mm-hmm Okay. So I need to say more. It, it was okay. Yeah, you need to have some sort of adjective because when you say um, just more or less, it's not saying exactly how it went. It's just saying um, más, o, más o menos, right? It's... Um, Okay. Okay. Fue bien, no fue mal, no estuvo mal. Es, es mejor. exactly. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got it. Good. All right. And then... Let's look at this one. Do you think your next job interview will be in English? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Uh-huh. And the last one. Uh, what was the best interview you have, have you have ever had? What about the world? Mm -hmm. Uh What was it? my my last or my best interview it was of the current job. Uh What about the worst? Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. I, I don't remember a a, a a bad interview. So you, you didn't have an experience where it was like really bad or something, or you didn't feel that great about it. Maybe when I worked for a call center, Mm hmm they they were they were not clearly with the with my responsibilities. They were not clear with my responsibilities. Okay. Clear. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or you could say another great word for that is transparent, right? They weren't Transparent. transparent with my job Yeah, they were role. they were not transparent with my responsibilities. 
Exactly. Very good. Okay, Juan, we're about to run out of time, but I will post in Cambly for you and let you know if any tutors post, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye, Juan. See you next time.